Hey, everybody. Welcome to Connecting Cannabis, brought to you by Razzle. I'm your host, Brian Holler. Uh, today with us, we have Steve Lane from Maverick Payments. Uh, he will be um, joining us to talk about payment processing and, um, you know, and uh, payment solutions uh, and, and more. Um, but first, I'd like to talk to you about the Wicked Root. Uh, the Wicked Root's mission is to unlock the healing power of cannabis and create trusted, safe, and highly effective wellness products. They firmly believe that cannabinoids and terpenes found in cannabis and hemp have the potential to positively impact millions of lives, and their team is dedicated to making this a reality. Utilizing proprietary DNA, the Wicked Root offers a brand of pharmaceutical-grade CBD products people can rely on. The Wicked Root, util the Wicked Root team utilizes a full-spectrum CBD base infused with select terpenes to create optimal science-backed formulas that are consistent and deliver targeted effects. I am here with Steve Lane. Steve, how are you doing today? Good, Brian. Good, Good to, to talk with you today. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. Um, you know, uh, at first, I just want to say, you know, right now, I know it's some hard times for businesses uh, right now. We certainly hope that, uh, you know, COVID-19 situation gets resolved as, as soon as possible and that everybody continues to stay healthy and uh, that those who are affected get well soon. I know you certainly echo those sentiments. Yes, I want to second that too. For all those suffering out there, we wish them well. Me too. And, I, and as, as do we at Razzle and, and Maverick. And certainly I can, I think I'm safe to speak for uh, everybody who's uh, certainly, um, you know, uh, trying to go and grind out there in the industry and to uh, uh, support one another. So we certainly for sure. uh, share our support. Um, so let's dig right into it, Steve. Um, you know, Maverick Payments uh, is, uh, provides payment solutions. Um, what does that mean? Yes. Well, I mean, it, you know, it's one thing to get your business started, but what if you can't accept payments from your customers? That's that's a huge problem, right? Yeah. And and a lot of a lot of businesses fail to to realize that that cannabis, when the word cannabis is on your marketing or anything like that, it can present some major challenges uh, in terms of accepting credit card payments. That is uh, yes, very interesting. So that leads me to another question, though. So. There are brokers that do this, right? And then there's independent yeah. service operators, if I'm correct, right? Um, yeah. What's the difference? Sure. So, and, and first and foremost, we, we work with a lot of brokers that resell Maverick technology. Okay. So nothing against brokers in any way. Um, it's just when, you want, when you're considering a payment processor, you want to work as close to the processor as you can. Now, some people have friends that are brokers, and that's great. But... If you can come directly and work with the processor, see Maverick is an ISO or a full service ISO. So when you work with me and Maverick, you're actually working with the processor. So you're one step closer to getting the getting your needs met. You know, um, so merchants will call me, and I have our whole team right there in the office. Whatever they need help with, we help them. Uh, it's just they get they get quicker responses, and we're able to make that decision as opposed to a broker who has to kind of say, hold on, let me go talk to the processor, get right back to you. There, there's none of that. There, yeah. There's just quicker responses and much more flexibility when working directly with the processor. I would guess that cannabis-related companies are really receptive to that model too, uh, you know, uh, especially considering all the um, kind of legalities and regulations that are associated with making sure that this is done in a legal, efficient, effective way. Absolutely. Um, right? I mean, uh, uh, I would imagine your clients are very um, – they like the fact that you can provide sort of a consultative uh, side of it as well. Yeah, for sure. And when you, know, when I speak to my, to our merchants, we, we speak with authority, you know, sometimes the broker may not know what the, what the answer is. And so with Maverick, you know, because it's all internal, when we talk to the merchant, we're presenting them in a transparent way. That's not going to change tomorrow after the processor makes some decision that the broker's not aware of. Yeah. So I just really want to drill in the fact that working directly with the processor means that you have the, the true and up-to-date information and that's not going to change tomorrow or be outdated by what the broker might be telling you. Right. Once again, brokers are amazing people. Of course. It's just yeah. that just want to kind of emphasize that if you can work directly with the processor, that's absolutely the best way to go. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Like, yeah, absolutely nothing against brokers because if your business is of the right kind, sure, you know. Yeah. Uh, but ultimately, if you are looking for, you know, kind of a solution provider that can give you a little more, um, you know, of a consultative approach that can be right there, that can uh, connect with you, um, you know, quickly, yeah. uh, that can give you advice without having to serve a bunch of different uh, folks, 
you know, I, I would think that that's a, a good option for, especially a cannabis related business. So yeah, we, we go really go the extra mile. I spend time helping and just, just presenting some ideas to the merchant. We, we talk, they call me as friends with good reviews because we want, we really want to see them succeed. And if I can go the extra mile to do a little research for them up front, then they're happy and, and we sign them up and it, it's just an all around, it's worth it for us to, to be there for our merchant in every way. Right. You know? And consulting well, yeah, them uh, and helping them succeed. Yeah. It allows you to give a really high level of customer service for uh, a really kind of, um, for lack of a better term, kind of intimate need. So, you know, that's yeah. a good partnership. You know, if I'm, if I'm letting you in on my most kind of, you know, vulnerable knowledge or like, Hey, you're, you're understanding how much revenue we make and you're helping sure. us process it. So, you know, I can't think of some things for a business owner that would be much more, you know, um, sensitive, you know, uh, information. Absol- no, so, it's, it's absolutely, absolutely correct. What you're saying. Absolutely. So, um, actually before this call or while well, we've talked a few times before you're talking about kind of Maverick's unique technology, which I'm sure kind of adds to the ability to provide this level of service. Um, could you explain a little bit more? Yeah, for sure. See, in the olden days, you know, processing was was very simple. It was there was a lot of snail mail, you might say, where you get a document in the mail. If you get a charge back, they're going to mail it to you. And for the time being, that's all there was. But that that's no longer sufficient for what the industry needs. Like when if you get a charge back, then do you really want to wait to be notified in the mail? No. So with Maverick, one of the one of the neat technologies was technologies we have is an electronic chargeback management tool. So once you get a chargeback, you'll be immediately notified. You can log in, you can upload your supporting documents, and then it goes off to the chargeback center, which in this case is a third party that all processors partner with. It goes directly to the chargeback center quickly. You can address that. It's all within a really neat portal. And I and if you visit um, maverickpayments.com, you'll see a little more about what I'm talking about. So that's the chargebacks aspect of it. Um, also in the olden days, you would have to hire like a, an analytics guru, you know, one that would help you look at all the data. When are the, one of the most popular times when, when cards are being processed and stuff like that, you would pay them a high salary, which was really important at that time. But now you can save money because all that information is streamlined within that same dashboard. So the customer can see really neat metrics, managing their chargebacks. And of course the simple stuff to get a statement. Like I get carried away with talking about all the amazing features and some merchants are like, Oh, I'm back up. Can I just download my statement online? And I yeah. say, that is just one little thing that you deserve so much. And I'm just so excited every time we show our neat technology to our merchants. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, I mean, it's a, uh, it's nice when you're kind of um, in a way ahead of the game that way, you know, yeah. where you're impressing people with like this step, but you're like, Hey, have you seen this and this, you know? Um, yeah. It's, it's like we do we do everything that is necessary to make the payment successful and go into your account, everything, the simple things, but then we go the extra mile to help you use that data to succeed. And at the end of the day, it's just efficient. I can get my statements. I can see all these, these cool data. Oh, shoot, I got a chargeback. I got to manage that. Let's log into Maverick dashboard. Let's, let's process and upload our documents and then go enjoy the rest of our day and not worry about it because you already did what you need. You don't have to put in the mail and just light years ahead. Yeah, just pro- makes everything smoother and, and quicker, yeah. more efficient. Um, Absolutely. Which is really, really great. Okay, so let's say I'm a cannabis-related business. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, an accountant. I'm a testing lab. I'm a, uh, you yeah. know, I'm a, a marketing firm. You know, I'm I'm something like that. How do I get started? Uh, how would I? How would I? What would I need uh, to have prepared before I call up Steve? For sure. For sure. Well, for, first and foremost. Like once they get my number and call me, I just want to say hi and have a quick chat and just get to know the person. But what what would make it quicker is if that merchant had, say, their processing statement ready. So what we'll do, my team and I, is we're going to look at your statement and then we're going to pre- present you with an analysis of what you're paying now. And in most cases, we can save you money. Sometimes um, you might be getting such a low rate, but that doesn't really correspond with actual industry you're in. And in those cases, the merchant's getting terminated because they got signed up. The, the processor gave them a very low rate, didn't understand that there's a higher risk and that justifies a little higher price. Sure. But we're going to go the best we can. First and foremost, we'll be competitive. So to answer your question, we want to see their statement. We'll talk about it. We want to be competitive 
In most cases, we can beat that rate that they're getting. And then we'll move on to get some of the other basic documents like driver's license, voided check, sure. some of the basic things. And then I'll send them a really free and simple application. They can fill out online. And what I always do is I keep my merchants. I see my merchants because I, you know, I love them. Like my yeah, friends. sure, of course. So I, yeah. so I keep them informed and just say, hey, here's where we're at. Thanks so much for sending that. I've sent it to underwriting. Um, just sit tight. So it, the communication is very important. So I'm communicating with them throughout the whole process. That's very good. And then, of course, the process, I assume, goes to kind of a, a review, right, to yeah. determine whether the, you know, the fit is right. Um, do you have like a, a quick high-level overview of what that looks like, that approval process? Yeah, for sure. So, I, so my role as the account executive is to collect the basics. And then my, our, our underwriting team is right there in the same office. So once I get the documents, I send it over to the underwriting team. And then they proceed to, to make sure that the information is accurate or rather complete. Sure. And sometimes there's other documents that are needed uh, on a case-by-case -case basis. Because really quick with cannabis or anything cannabis related, it really is case-by-case. -case. Right. And any other, any other broker or any other processor that says we're going to have you approved in 24 hours, I just want to be transparent and say that that usually isn't the case. But sometimes it is true. But usually there's a little bit of a delay up front so that you're smooth sailing after. Sure. I get so many merchants that say, Steve, I got approved just now, we're done. One week later, Steve, I got terminated. <laughs> just get me set up. I understand if it's gonna take a few days, but I'd much rather get approved for the long term yeah. than just a short term. So that's the case by case, but, but to answer your question, they fill out our simple application. I go, I, we send it right to underwriting. And then after underwriting looks it over, we have our sponsoring bank that, that certifies that our analysis was correct because they're involved too. For their perspective, it's more of a reputational thing. And fortunately, many banks, well, I say fortunately for us because we have internal banks that are willing to work with cannabis, but other businesses, when they hear that word cannabis, it's just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. It's just, if you're associated with it, don't want to do it. So one thing to differentiate with Maverick is that we have the process from start to finish that incorporates cannabis in a fully compliant manner. So we know exactly what it, what it takes, what documents are necessary. You're going to sign a few extra documents that you're not going to be selling items that have more than like 0.30 basis points of THC, little things like that, yep. that we walk the merchant through the process. Sure. And that makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, it kind of goes to the big, one of the big takeaways I'm getting from Maverick is just, it's really important, especially with your cannabis related clients um, that you provide a very, um, customer friendly, uh, uh, yes. integrated, personalized approach that is specific to that person and that person's business. Yes. Uh, and you're um, like a teammate uh, helping them. Yeah. Them. We, I mean, we, we, it really is true. Like when you have a, a reliable payment processor that you can, that is there for you and really wants you to succeed. See, Maverick is not a large business, but we're not a small business. We're, right. we're kind of at the, you might call it boutique, but we're, we're like the, the Lexus, you know, sure. you can go and get your simple Ford, nothing wrong with it. But if you want extra, then just, you're going to get something amazing with Maverick. It's going to be a luxury car at a great price. And so that's kind of way I like to look at it. And it's just there, it's not apples to apples really. Like right. processing is really is unique. And what we've built is from the ground up, it's proprietary. And so just really excited to, to share what we have with our, with our merchants and, and I'm just, just excited to talk about it. That's excellent. Well, speaking of your clients, um, you know, have, um, have there been any trends or I don't know, uh, or any uh, goings on uh, from your clients since the, since um, coronavirus kind of hit in terms of any adjustments needed to their arrangements with Maverick or just general trends you've seen in people, uh, business owners, what they're doing? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, well, you, we've seen, unfortunately, sadly, a lot of the a lot of retail merchants are struggling. Yep. And I personally have merchants that I call and I just say, "Hey, listen, I'm so sorry what you're going through." And some merchants are are shut down temporarily. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. That's the first thing that comes to mind is that those who are retail are struggling. But on the other hand, those who are online or those who are able to innovate and quickly transition online, like one of my retail merchants, um, he figured out quickly how to, how to do curbside sales. And so he, he put the system in and they make, they make their purchase 
and he runs out and, and delivers that item to them. Another process, another merchant wasn't able to be that quick, but so if you can adapt, but of course those that are purely online are, they're already, nothing really changes. They just see their volume. I have a merchant that does online uh, um, fitness, fitness videos. And I just really want to point out really quick that we don't just work with cannabis. We work with all sorts of businesses. Oh, yeah. So in this example, she does fitness and her, her volume is, is quadrupled. So, yeah. so just to answer your question, uh, the difference between retail is struggling and online is doing well. So that's the, ma- the biggest challenge for, and of course, not a- being able to have your associates come into work if you, if you weren't, didn't, weren't able to have them work from home. Those are some challenges that are happening. Yeah, um, I, that certainly echoes what, what, what we, we at Razzle have seen and, um, and dealt with as well. Um, you know, uh, actually speaking of which you can find, uh, Maverick payments on Razzle platform under the services index. So, um, you can yeah. also find them at maverickpayments.com as Steve was uh, saying earlier. Thank you. Um, do you, I don't know what, uh, I don't know. What's the outlook for, uh, kind of payment solution and, you know, what does the outlook look like for Maverick kind of, uh, in the short long term? you know, are you, uh, going to roll out more services or are you just going to kind of keep, ingratiating yourself in the um, industries that you already serve and just kind of expand. Yeah, that's, that's excellent. We, you know, to be successful, you have to anticipate scale. Yeah. And so the, the systems that Maverick is built on anticipates massive growth. So right now you are not too big. We might get overshadowed by some of the larger processors that, that don't, they just rely um, on signing you up quickly. And if you break any of the rules, they shut you down. Right, but see, with Maverick, we're we're built to scale, and that's very important. And like, let's see what else. Oh, this is so exciting! So one thing that's really going to differentiate us—it's not quite ready, but as soon as it is, I'm going to let you know, Brian. Uh, right. We're going to have our own. We're going to have our own gateway. Okay. Oh, nice. So for the for, for any of those who are kind of familiar a little bit with payment processing, there's something called a gateway. Yep. Um, the gateway is what, say, for example, your online website. If you have an e-commerce store which is already built, then you have something called a gateway that connects to that. And then the processor connects to the gateway. Yep. So website, gateway, processor. So oftentimes the merchant will rely on say authorized.net, which should sound familiar, or NMI is another popular one, USA ePay, Paytrace, or some of the options. So with Maverick, we're gonna have our own gateway very shortly. And that is a major differentiator. Let me drill into the fact that a processor having its own gateway is actually not very common. No. Um, because it's very expensive and it takes a lot of certifications to make that successful. And so once you have the own, your own, once the processor, once Maverick has its own gateway, we'll have more control over the user experience and not to mention it'll be cheaper because we can eliminate unnecessary costs. Yes. So. Yeah, so the gateway true. is is really exciting. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, it's I just okay. want to say that. See, we have so much to share that it's like there's just a lot of my job is thinking how I can kind of tactfully, I should say, uh, explain what we have to offer. Because some merchants think, well, I can accept payments, I'm done. Like, no, let's let's show you all this extra things that we have. So, just explaining to merchants that the data can be used in ways you can understand. The, the the times that your customers are making orders and the chargeback management. So, but so that, and of course the gateway and, and a lot of what our, we have a, a, our own tech team as well. So they're like 20 guys that are working hardcore, just making sure and always forward thinking. And I would say the knowledge generated by the data that you guys process is worth its weight in gold to every single client of yours. Yes. Um, I don't know how you wouldn't want to. Um, and then if I go with Maverick quickly, be able to kind of integrate, get that level of uh, knowledge uh, and consultate consultation, uh, yeah. and just fly. You know, just yeah. like uh, go. Yeah, and one one thing really quick, please. Um, some like I was just on the line with another merchant the other day, and he thought it was going to be really complicated, and he like he literally has to change nothing except inputting a few numbers. Who well, he has his website, he has the gateway. The only thing that's going to change is Maverick on the back end. Right. And he's like, well, Steve, I'm not ready to, to transition my whole site. And I was just like, listen, mm-hmm. it's so much easier than you think it is. Yeah. Which is an understandable mistake. People like think, oh, it's going to be so common. Yeah. Pardon? More like an integration than a build out, which is, I think, yeah. probably what it's. That could be confusing. I could understand that. 
Yeah, it was totally understandable. And I, and I really was grateful for the opportunity to resolve that concern and Absolutely. say, it's going to be very simple. It's going to be so streamlined. Your website can stay exactly the same. Your gateway can stay exactly the same. Quite literally, after you're approved, we send you a few credentials, you log it in, and instantly you're going through Maverick. And there you go. I think that's a good place for us to kind of wrap up on. Um, uh, before we kind of leave, Steve, um, let's make sure that everybody knows where they can contact you and Maverick. For sure. Yeah, so please go to maverickpayments.com, and you're going to see lots of information there. Uh, my number is 818-338-8414. So that's 818-338-8414. Call me anytime. Would love to chat with you. And my email is slane at maverickhq.com. And there you go. Uh, and of course, you can, as I said earlier, you can find Maverick on the Razzle Services Index. or Yes. Um, and you can find some of Maverick's clients on the uh, Razzle Business Database. Yes. So, um, you know, if you're... Uh, yeah, I- I want to say everyone needs to, before they come to our site, they need to go to your site to find Maverick because I want them to first see how amazing your site is. Oh, I've really also, great. I'm so grateful to have attended your events and I've met you personally. I've met all your team yep. and we're just really grateful to have met you and everyone. And, and just, I think this is a really neat friendship we have going on. And, and so definitely really grateful for this opportunity. Anytime, Steve. It's a pleasure to have met you as well and to know you all this time. And, you know, Maverick's been great friends to Arousal as well as we, uh, you know, continue to grow both companies and yes. uh, serve as resources for one another. It's, um, it's nice when you're able to kind of grow and, uh, and build this way. And as we both grow, uh, we both, uh, more opportunities come. So, yeah. Uh, Can you know, I say one more thing? Oh, please. Yeah. Just, just really quick, like sure. one, one, one really important thing is the relationship you have with your processor. When things are going great, out of sight, out of mind. But we have sure. merchants that a payment fails or they want to get their statement. Like, well, who do I go? I don't even know what to do. Who do I talk to? Yep. My merchants, and I know them by name, I, I, I put them in my – it's so easy, but it's – you just put them in my caller ID and call me. Like, Jim, how can I help you today? You want your statement? Let, let me walk you through how to get that. Okay. So it's a relationship too. So that's kind of one way to, to differentiate is, is to build a relationship. Like we have here, like this, I'm a real person that yep. really wants to see my merchant succeed. Yeah. Uh, and on that note, of course, uh, building relationships is kind of the, the key to my show here. So what a great note to end on. Steve, thank you so much for being here with me today. And I look forward to doing it again soon, my friend. Thanks, Brian. Great to chat with you. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Sounds good.